Hello and welcome to the training on how to use the Select a Floor Estimizer. And there are two main functions of this tool. First is to help you determine an appropriate floor uh, based on your particular project and the attributes that are most important to you. And then secondly to get an idea of what uh, your contractor or retailer, uh, what the pricing will be to put in those particular floors on the measurements that you enter into the system. So it's kind of a self-help tool uh, to let you explore the possibilities and the pricing options that are available to you. So very simple on the select a floor portion let's say that uh, you're going to be doing a kitchen and or dining area and once I select that you notice down here on the bottom in the uh, recommendation panel we we start to see some bars start to move so far we haven't put in enough information that it can recommend a particular floor yet over here is there flooring in the basement no we'll say it's uh, either at ground or above ground level let's say that we do have some small children in the house and that can determine uh, what what flooring choice that you make natural materials how important is that to you uh, we have everything is defaulted to the left hand side which is not important at all you have to tell the the uh, system what your determination is for the importance of these different things so we'll just leave natural materials off to the left so far elegance the what the system is looking for here is the look of maybe more classic features uh, whether that is uh, tile uh, hardwood that kind of thing that's different than luxury because luxury actually would be more geared towards the natural materials classic natural materials that would be what luxury is so let's say that eh, elegance is is somewhat important but not terribly important uh, uh, luxury about the same maybe not terribly important comfort yeah you want it to be comfortable I mean it's a kitchen so uh, uh, not your main issue but somewhat important functionality and practicality is going to be probably about the same but this is a kitchen and or dining and so you want to have durability that's all the way to the to the right and, and probably low maintenance is right around there uh, at the same level economy or budget depending again on your situation that may or may not be uh, important uh, so put it halfway just to see what your options are so what the selective floor has come out with is that uh, we have hardwood as an uh, option uh, tile not really recommended for the parameters that we put in carpet is not recommended either that's still in the red but we have two floors that are recommended and laminate comes out ahead in our uh, uh, in this particular project and vinyl a second now let's say that natural materials were very important to you for green reasons or or whatever else uh, so if we pull that all the way over hardwood now becomes recommended closely followed by tile so play around with the uh, 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 with the little sliders here to kind of see again to, to discover what floor is going to be appropriate for you and uh, we'll move that back so that laminate now is our uh, as our winner for the recommendation of select a floor okay so then we said that the estimizer or estimating a price is the second portion of this tool so how we access that is just simply click on this button at the top and we see again our five choices hardwood tile carpet laminate and vinyl um, now if you haven't uh, watched the training on how to measure square footage and aren't sure how to do it then make sure that uh, you watch that because we won't be going into that here but the 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 room selector uh, and estimizer portion of the tool lets us look at all of the different flooring in with the options that we select just to get an idea of what the price would be to have it installed so let's say that we have a 12 by 12 foot kitchen but we're going to be taking out a two foot by six foot island and maybe we have a pantry that's three by three uh, 
to add into. Now I didn't click the deductive. We're going to be taking out since that's an island and we're not going to be tiling or putting flooring underneath that. Uh, we're going to subtract that out. So I click on the deductive and that actually pulls it out of our square footage. Now we're already starting to get to see prices uh, based on options. If I click on the tabs across the top here, tile with the economy price group, standard set and grout, uh, and no underlayment, 946. We saw the hardwood was 1400, uh, just a little over 1400. Carpet, just a little over 1000. Laminate, 992. And vinyl, 850. So, uh, laminate uh, was the flooring, and we can still see down here what, what's recommended for us. Laminate is, is highly recommended. So, uh, you can look at the gallery f for your contractor or retailer by clicking on this button, and that should link directly to the gallery so you can look at uh, the uh, products available to you online. But let's say that you've already done that, and uh, here this particular uh, retailer has uh, has five pricing groups economy standard select classic or premium yours may be different but the idea is the same that that uh, economy would be at the low end premium uh, at the high end so let's say that you want to go with select which is a middle of the group you want uh, what install type are you going to do let's say that there's minimal leveling that needs to be done so you select that and then your underlayment, maybe you want to, it's a kitchen area, uh, and maybe you want to have waterproofing underneath there. Okay, so now uh, the estimated price, and again, this is a non binding price because you need to have your professional go out and measure and, and make sure what's appropriate for your situation. But this gives you an idea of what the material and install price will be for laminate for this particular room. And again, you can go over to vinyl. Uh, just to, as a comparison, again, if you want to say, well, I want to select group, standard, minimal leveling, uh, there we have 1,136. Really don't want carpet in a kitchen, so you don't even need to check that, although you could if you wanted to. Tile, let's add in our select pricing, standard set and grout, we'll leave that in place. And underlayment, we did want waterproofing there. So we have 1,704, and then maybe just to see, let's see what hardwood would be. Select, uh, let's say that this is a glue down installation, and we do want waterproofing underneath that. So now we can compare uh, and decide maybe what flooring option is going to be best. And and just because laminate's recommended, you may decide, wow, you know, for laminate at 1,600, maybe I really want hardwood or maybe I really want tile. I mean there's only what about a hundred for these particular parameters and the choices that we made there's only about a hundred dollars difference so if you like the the look and feel of tile better maybe you decide to do that. It's up to you and everything is is to your parameters and again you need to to discuss with your flooring professional uh, the uh, specifics so that they can make sure that the, you choose the most appropriate floor but this helps you do that on your own time and on your own terms. We thank you for your time. We hope you've learned something, and we'll see you up on the other trainings. Thank you.